birth before it can have any blood effects or systemic effects. So, so recently, scientists, food scientists, are thinking that it's not the allicin at all that uh, has the that uh, has uh, is responsible for the medicinal effects of garlic. Stomach and intestinal juices probably contribute to the degradation of allicin, which apparently is quite an unstable compound. In any case, garlic can be very, very medicinal and very healing, largely because of its sulfur compounds. Even if it's not allicin, there are sulfur compounds in garlic that have wonderful medicinal properties. So go crazy on the garlic. I, I love garlic personally. I don't know why. Some folks just don't like the taste of it or the smell of garlic for whatever reason. Personally, I love the stuff. And I put it everywhere. Wonderfully medicinal stuff. Not so much in the capsules, by the way. I'm, not, I'm always skeptical about garlic capsules and, and garlic tablets, but garlic as a food or garlic as a plant or uh, as a vegetable can be wonderfully, wonderfully medicinal. Go crazy on garlic. All right, let's see. We're talking about cysteine as a hardening molecule. We talked about it as a protective molecule. But there is a downside to cysteine. There's a, there's a toxic side to cysteine, and I'm going to tell you about that tomorrow as we continue talking about amino acids and sulfur for uh, amino acids, including sulfur amino acids for bone building and bone health. Our number today, 855-660-4261. We do have a couple lines open for you. We'll get your calls here in just a minute. I've been getting a whole bunch of emails. I got one from uh, do, 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 got one from Brandy. She's been she sent a lot of these Brandy in Texas. She wants to know about juice fasting and vitiligo. And I'm sorry I haven't returned uh, returned your many many messages uh, and uh, emails, Brandy. And I apologize for that. I'm way backed up. I'm going to answer your answer your question here on the radio. Hopefully you're listening. Brandy says uh, I heard you talk about a two day fast to reset the digestive system and reduce inflammation. You said to use juices during the cleanse. Can you be more specific? I will search your website for more info. I hope to hear from you. Also, my sister has vitiligo and other health ailments, and she'd like to get advice. She has digestive issues, no kidding, chronic uh, headaches, body bone aches, and pain. This is, uh, you know, when you have vitiligo or you have any other skin condition, the chances are really, really good that you got stuff going on inside your body as well. So let me get to the vitiligo question here in a minute. And if you're on, on hold, hang tight. I'll get to you here as soon as I finish this up. Uh, let's see. So, uh, juice fast to reset the digestive system. Stay away from anything really sweet. Carrots, uh, probably just a tiny little bit of carrot and a little bit of beet. A lot of folks, when they do juices, go crazy on carrot and beet and apples. If you go to those juice bars that are supposed to be healthy, a lot of times these juice bars will give you 90% apple juice with a little bit of vegetable juice in there. Apples, of course, do have some good nutritional value, but they also have lots and lots of sugar, especially if you're juicing the apple. That way you don't get, you're not getting the fiber. Whenever you juice a fruit, unless you're using a Vitamix, you're losing the fiber, and the fiber is one of the main ways the body protects itself from the quick burst of sugar that's found in the fruit. So you've got to be really careful if you're using fruit juices. If you're going to vegetable juice, go savory. Use garlic, use onion, use spinach, use broccoli, use kale, use turnips. And then throw a little bit of carrot in there. Throw a little bit of beet in there. Throw in some wheatgrass, too. Wheatgrass is wonderfully medicinal. And when, I say, uh, when you say using a juice, doing a juice fast... You can spend all day doing juice. One of the neat things about juices is you'll, especially if you spin them in a, in a Vitamix, is you're going to electrify the nutritional, the nutrients in the juice, the phytonutrients in the juice, and that makes the juice very, very satisfying. The same thing can be true if you just use lemon juice or lime juice, or even if you use lemon water or lime water or, or cucumber water for that matter, or berry water. And the difference between a berry water and a, and a fruit water or vegetable water and a vegetable juice is a vegetable water is just a little bit of vegetable or a little bit of fruit with a whole bunch of water as opposed to just juice, which is the liquid portion of the fruit and the vegetable with maybe a touch of water in there to dilute it a little bit. So, But either way, whether you're doing a, a juice water, a vegetable water, or a vegetable juice, you'll find those, these liquids very, very satisfying because, number one, the phytonutrients will give you, the plant nutrients will give you some nutritional value, and a lot of times we get hungry because we don't have nutrients. So just replacing the B-complex and the electrolytes and the other nutrients that you get from the vegetables, just replacing them can have a satisfying effect. But also electrification, by spinning these things in a vortex in your, in your blender, in your Vitamix, that can also make these, uh, make these juices and waters very, very satisfying. We eat and we're hungry neurally, brain-wise. We're not always hungry and we don't always uh, feel like eating because our stomach is empty. We're hungry and we feel like eating and eating behavior is regulated by brain chemistry. And the brain is constantly reading the blood for nutrition and nutritional value by giving ourselves nutrients, whether it's in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine or juices, we can stabilize our hunger. We can feel less hungry. And this is why you want to, if you, if you think that you can't just go on a straight juice fast or straight fast, you can do a juice fast 
or a juice water fast, and that can help, as, I, as Brandy says and as I've said, reset the digestive system. This is a great strategy if you're trying to isolate a food intolerance or food problem. Uh, going clean for two days, cleaning out your digestive system, and then starting to eat again makes it easier to isolate problem foods or problem food components. Okay, so I hope that answers your question on juice fasting. As far as your sister goes, vitiligo is an autoimmune disease. That means it's an immune issue where the body attacks itself. That's what all autoimmune diseases are, all 80 plus, 80 to 180, depending on who you ask. Autoimmune diseases all are manifestations of an activated, jacked up, confused immune system. Whenever you have a jacked up immune system or a confused immune system, you want to focus on the digestive health component. That means focusing on foods and eliminating problem foods. You can do a juice fast to do that, as I say, or you can use probiotics, or you can just try to isolate problem foods and eliminate them. The fact that your uh, uh, sister, Brandy, has chronic headaches and body and aches and pains, that just corroborates the fact that there is some kind of digestive problem. Something is getting into the system through the digestive tract, messing up the immune system. So focus on foods for all autoimmune diseases. By the way, vitiligo is an autoimmune disease of the skin where the body's immune system will attack the pigment-making cells, rendering the skin pale and white in spots. And it's not, it's not like life-threatening, or it's not a life-threatening problem, but it can be cosmetically unpleasant. And it's also a sign that you may be having an immune problem inside the body, which may be life-threatening, or at the very least, maybe shortening, uh, or shortening your life or accelerating your demise or leading to some other, God forbid, horrible health crisis like uh, cancer or some other health issue. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll get your phone calls when we come back. 855-660-4261 is our number. We'll be back on the bright side right after this. Hey, gang, as you can imagine, living with the moniker America's Mr. Right can be kind of tough at times. But you know what? It's easy to live up to the challenge when you're feeling good. Hi, everybody. I'm Jason Lewis, and that's why I watch what I eat and supplement my diet with great products from Longevity, like their great vitamin mineral complex drink or a protein shake or my favorite probiotic dark chocolate packed with antioxidants. You know, I love these products, and I'll bet you will, too. And now you can get them all at JasonLewisTeam.com. Now, look, these are just the things I like from Longevity, but if you're looking for, a, say, a sports drink endorsed by an NBA All-Star or a shot of Pollen Burst, the best energy drink on the market, it's all here, too. All you have to do is go to JasonLewisTeam.com or call 1-855-310-TEAM. Now, that's 1-855-310-TEAM. Get all these products and more and feel like America's Mr. Right. It's JasonLewisTeam.com. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curb appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. Stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. We all know that Berkey Water Purification Systems are the most trusted name in water filtration. As an authorized Berkey dealer for over six years and serving thousands of satisfied customers, the Berkey Guy offers amazing specials for Berkey Water Filtration Systems. The Berkey Light Systems include a set of self-sterilizing and recleanable black purification elements that purify water by removing chlorine, pathogenic bacteria, cysts and parasites to non-detectable levels and remove harmful chemicals such as herbicides and pesticides. Order the Berkey Light System 
system today, complete with two black Berkey elements for only $231, and the Berkey Guy will ship your order free of charge. With the purchase of a Berkey light, the Berkey Guy is also offering a set of fluoride and arsenic filters for only $39.99. That's over 30% off the retail price. Call the Berkey Guy at 1-877-886-3653. That's 1-877-886-3653. Or order online at GoBerkey.com. That's GoBerkey.com today. Yeah? Did you want to see me, sir? Well, I did, but now that I do, I'm not so sure. Sir? Johnson, I got a mission for you that could change your life. Oh, good, sir. It involves traveling halfway around the world without so much as half a clue of where you're going or what you're going to do when you get there. Situation normal, sir? Uh-huh. Well, I'll be leading this mission, Johnson, so I'll be telling you what to do. You, sir? That's right, Johnson, and I say first things first. Oh, good plan, sir. And what I say is first is food. Always remember that, Johnson. Food is a big deal. Sir, my brother-in-law can guess a really good deal on some surplus MREs. Johnson, if you've got half a brain and that empty head of yours, you'll call the freeze-dry guy like I did. That food is better for you, it rehydrates faster, and it's good, Johnson, and it keeps for up to 30 years. Will we be gone that long, sir? Well, I hope not. Now, get your supplies organized and meet me down at the pier at dawn on Sunday. We sail at sunrise. Yes, sir. This adventure is brought to you by the freeze-dry guy. Call 866-404-3663. Or visit freezedryguy.com. The nation's largest independently owned and operated talk radio network, the Genesis Communications Network. Jeez. On the bright side, I'm Pharmacist Ben. Tomorrow we'll continue talking about cysteine, except we're going to talk about it as, as it's, uh, in terms of its toxic, uh, toxic form. There's a toxic form of cysteine that has uh, been recently associated with all kinds of health issues, including cancer, including heart disease, including Alzheimer's disease. Even blood sugar issues and all inflammatory issues may be associated with this toxic form of cysteine that you're going to want to know about and also protect yourself from, and we will talk about that tomorrow. On the bright side, our number eight five five six six zero forty two sixty one. Let's talk to Carl, the Truth Raider in Oregon. Welcome, Carl. What's going on, my friend? The man that will keep you Obamacare free, pharmacist Ben Fuchs. Good morning, Thank you, sir. Carl, the Truth Raider. What's up, my friend? How's it going, bro? <laughs> Nason iodine, uh, yes. continuous effects from nascent iodine. I'm getting this condition where I'm getting like an orangish, kind of a yellowish hue to my skin. Are you sure about that? I've never heard that from nascent iodine, but that is the color of iodine. Yeah. Actually, iodine's kind of purple. You're not turning purple, are you? No, not turning purple. You got a little <laughs> red. You, you got a little redness. I had a little bit of redness, you know, so I, I noticed that. I, I don't know if that's associated with wearing a wristband or not. And for a long period of time, I was wearing a wristband, and I had never had any type of a condition from it at all. And then I had like an irritation, like a, an itchiness or an irritation from it, and I took it off and it went away, but I had redness from that. But I noticed in my hands, especially in the palm of my hands, the center of the palm of my hands, I see like a yellowish, kind of an orangish hue. Hmm. Around the circumference, of, around, you know, below the digits, in the top of the palm, you know, where... um you know where you kind of in that padded area where you this around the area where you might get blisters and inside the, the you the, getting a change in color there a little yeah, redness just a little bit after a couple of weeks of usage of it that's very so interesting so I cut back just a little bit to maybe one drop or two drops a day and, and did you know it change? seems to be fading that's it's very interesting enough. I don't I yeah, suppose so. it's not I suppose it's not uh, not impossible you know there's something called the iodine patch test have you ever heard of this where you actually paint a little bit of iodine on your skin and see how long it takes for that red color to go away um and and i don't know if this works actually there's some controversy on whether it works or not but the longer it takes for the iodine to disappear the less uh, likely you are to need iodine and the shorter it takes to disappear the more deficient you tend to be that's called the iodine patch test and uh I don't know necessarily if that's def- – there's some controversy around that. The best way to know if you're deficient in iodine – actually, there's no real way to know if you're deficient in iodine. You could do something called the iodine loading test and see if you take a whole bunch of iodine in, in the non-toxic form, iodorol or, or nascent iodine, and see if you notice any health differences. That's really the best way to tell if you have any kind of nutritional deficiency uh, is to take a whole bunch in, of, of that particular nutrient and see – if you notice any health changes, but uh, I don't know necessarily to answer your question, Carl, the truth raider. I don't know necessarily that uh, that you're going to get uh, have redness 
have a problem with the color change in your skin just by using iodine. Have you noticed any like, benefits, any, feature, any kind of uh, advantages, or you notice any health changes or improvement in your health at all, mental health issues especially? I continue with, uh, in my analysis of things. I notice I feel a little bit of a, a sense of, uh, how would you put it, more fluidity in, in, my, in my gait and movement, uh-huh. for example. Uh, perhaps how much were you taking? How much were you taking? How much were you taking? Uh, I'm, I'm, when I'm taking the, the 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 product Survival Shield, and I'm t- 